What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to be talking about Avowed. That's right. Now, I've been hyped for this ever since ever since it was announced because it's been de being developed by Obsidian Entertainment. Now, if you don't know, Obsidian has a long history with gaming, but they've never had a AAA budget for their own game. They've never had the resources to make their own IP like they do now. That's why this is so exciting because they, they are getting to make their own original 3D RPG from scratch and they are, they are getting the resources from Xbox to be able to do it the right way, right? So I'm super excited for this. Now, if you don't know, Obsidian has developed many games that you've probably played. Knights of the Old Republic 2, South Park Stick of Truth, Fallout New Vegas, obviously the Outer Worlds. And they actually were one of the developers that were working on in the original Boulder's Gate. And that's how they came up with the Pillars of Eternity, because they weren't able to work on the Boulder's Gate. So they actually did a Kickstarter campaign and created their whole universe, created a whole new universe. Now, there's a bunch of lore behind that. There's a bunch of story and lore to that world, to the Pillars universe. It is its own universe, and that's where Avowed is set, right? Avowed is set in that Pillars universe. Now, I'm not too familiar with it myself because I don't really like isometric games, but I'm going to have to read up on it. I'm actually, you know what? I'll slide it in here. I'll slide in the part where Carrie Patel is talking about it and giving the lore. I'll let her break it down for you because she does a way better job than me, obviously. So here, I'll just splice that in now. The very first voice that we hear from at the beginning of the trailer is the Emperor of Adir, your boss, essentially. Mm -hmm. He's sending you to the Living Lands to get to the bottom of this soul plague called the Dream Scourge, find out what's causing it, and find a way to stop it. The next person we hear from is Inquisitor Ludwine, who I'm very excited to have playing such a big part in Avowed. Um, players from Deadfire might remember her as a side character in one of our very interesting side quests, but in Avowed, she's pretty central. And her whole belief is that the Dream Scourge is really just symptomatic of larger problems, a larger sense of chaos and disunity and destructiveness at the heart of the living lands. And in the world of Pillars of Eternity, souls and essence, which is the stuff of souls, it manifests physically. And so she might be onto something. And then the very last person we hear from is Giada, who's one of the companions that we'll meet in our journey. And she's taking a different perspective. She's saying this chaos is part of who we are. It's part of what makes the living lands special don't try to tame it don't try to end it embrace it and cherish it and, and kind of nurture and tend to it so again what what that really sets up for the player is this is a big world it's got adventure and danger and it's also got a lot of choices to make and it's going to be up to you to decide you know what it means to be the envoy of Adir in the living lands and what it means to set things right in this place and so that's everything you really need to know to get started and avowed that is fantastic the gameplay looks great I like the way the melee is now you could say hey you know there's too there are too many combos you know the melee might get stale but i don't think so because you're going to be having other skills remember they're showing this kind of early on they're not giving away hey you're in god mode you're op now you're at the end of the story or you're on next game plus and you have all the spells all the ranger abilities everything that you want all the warrior all the mage skills all that stuff right you're op you can do whatever no, nah, this is kind of like in the beginning and they're kind of showing, you know, uh, some of the introductory story elements introducing you to the companion Yatsley. Oh, fantastic. People, <laughs> I was about to lose my wits. You wouldn't happen to have a ladder on hand, would you? Let's take a look at Yatsley. Let's take a look at this dialogue right here that I have on my screen because this is super exciting because guess what? We have speech checks. We have skill checks. We have the dialogue that Obsidian were used to seeing from Obsidian. So you should have complete freedom in this game to be as evil, as good as you want. You'll be able to have story choices. You'll be able to pick sides. And they're actually, I'll actually show you a little bit of that too. I'll clip some of the gameplay from that as well, because there, there is a section where you can go through it with stealth the ability to essentially kind of open up a rift in the here, which is the physical world, and travel through the beyond, which is kind of the, the invisible spiritual world, um, in order to, to move through the environment. So what this means is that as long as we don't engage them, these characters can't see us. Ah, a welcome visitor. It has been so long since one of your kind has walked in this grove. 
you know, in this case, the Dalamgan queen has recognized that we haven't killed all of her followers. Now, as far as the actual writing goes, it all looks up to par. It all looks obsidian standards. It has humor. It has, uh, it has humor. It has explicit material. It has adult themes. Everything you would want. The companions look good so far. I, I, uh, I don't know what races they are. They, they explain that in the video. I might roll that in here. But aside from that, it, you know, the artwork's good. I like the direction it's going in. I like the companions. I like the story. I like the skill checks. That's mostly what I care about most is the RPG elements. I like the skill checks. I like the skill trees. I like the way it looks. I like that you can, you know, dual wield things. You could dual wield hand motions with swords and you could have spell books and wands and all of these things. I like all of those things. I also really like that you don't need a staff to use magic. I hate that. I hate in games where when or where or when you have to use a staff to use magic. I absolutely hate that because it limits you to only having a staff and you can't be a battle mage. Everyone wants to be a battle mage. Well, some of us do because we want to use magic with our left hand and we want to fight with our right hand or have a shield and magic, whatever. You can do that in this game. The other thing this game has, I'm going to have to roll in a clip of because they haven't, they didn't show it in this one. There are guns in this game too. So there are flintlock, uh, I think black powder guns in this game, which is really cool, especially if we get skills around that. They haven't showed, showed too much of that gameplay, but I'm excited for that because like I said, it's always good to have the variety in the combat that you are giving players. So in my opinion, I like everything about this. I don't get, uh, some people are hating on the combat or graphics. Don't get it. This isn't, you know, supposed to be, you know, Elder Scrolls 6. This is their own thing in their own world, their own universe. They have the writing to back it up. They have the track record. I'm excited. I think this is going to be one of the best games of the year. And I'm not afraid to say it. I'm going to just put my money on it right now. This is going to be one of the best games of the year. I have no doubt. Look at their track record. Knights of the Old Republic 2. Fallout New Vegas. South Park Sick of Truth. Grounded. Pentiment. Outer Worlds. All of those games. Top-notch quality. Top-notch quality. Top-notch writing. There's no reason to believe that Obsidian would let us down in any kind of way. The lore is there. Because there are, it's set in the Pillars of Eternity universe. Everything is there. They have the resources. I have no doubt this game is going to be one of the best. Mark it down. Put it in your book. Write it down. Come back to this video. Tell me I'm wrong in the future. If you're watching this, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. And that's the video. <laughs> so if you liked the video and uh, you learned something and all that good stuff, whatever, you know, subscribe, like, let me know in the comments, whatever you have to say. It's cool. It's a free open discussion. It does nothing offends me. Whatever you want to say, go ahead. And um, I will see you next time. Thanks.